Hey folks, welcome to Lightroom Blog and I'm Sean McCormick. And in this video, we're gonna look at how Lightroom handles video files. Talk a little bit about making sub clips, talk a little bit about adding settings and how you can't use it and develop, but how you can get around that. So here's a look at video in Lightroom. Lightroom does very, very basic handling of video. So we're gonna look at some of the stuff here on how we can actually create things with video. So here's some video files that were behind the scenes from yesterday. And if I slide along here, you can see that we scrub through the video as we hover over and move. This applies to any of the videos that are here. If I double click, it will bring us in to the uh, loop view of the video. So it'll show the video with a little playback or transport bar here. If I press play, it'll actually play away. So this is shot on an X-T10, so it's a very, very basic video. It's not great quality video. We can move along the little bar here, which is the timeline bar, which will bring us show some of the video. But if you hover over the time indicator, by clicking and dragging, you can move it backwards and forwards along the timeline as well. Now, what was there isn't necessarily the best poster frame. So if I come along here and I just find a frame, just saw a frame there where I was just out. So I'm gonna use this one here as the poster frame. So if we watch down here, if I click this little icon and go set poster frame, so that now has become the poster frame for video. So when I look at this video in the grid, that's what it's going to, the video is going to show. So I know that this is where I was shooting inside the wild garlic. You can also capture a frame. So if I go capture frame, it will create a JPEG of this exact frame and put it in the folder. So we can see this one has come up and shown up here. So that is now a JPEG of the frame. The next option we can see here is we have a little cog. And if we click on that, it actually will bring up a little bar. Okay, so we can scrub along here using that, but we can also set our in and our out points, or if you like, our start and our end points. And generally in video, they're called in and out points though. Now, let's say I've made in and out points along here, but I wanna create a slideshow and use another section of the video. Well, I can do that. So if I right click on the video, we'll create virtual copy. So it creates a virtual copy. Now it'll take a couple of seconds for the actual video to update in this little timeline slice here. So I'm actually going to jump back to the original and jump back to this one because sometimes that makes it quicker. I can now have a different section in this one here. So as you can see, it dic it's dictated by where this little timeline is. So that's as far as I can go back with a little scrubber. So we can now see that this is one clip and this is a different clip. And with this one here, we can also then decide to come along here, for example, and set a different poster frame. So even though they're from the same original video clip, we can have two different sets of the clip with different poster frames in them. Now I can apply presets. So if I go here to presets, I can say apply one of my own presets. And we get a warning that some developed presets are not supported for video files. Only the following settings in the selected preset can be applied. Auto settings, white balance, basic tone, tone curve, treatment, split toning, process version, and calibration. So that's lovely. So you can see it's now applied my preset. If I select a different preset, say Matt 70s, we can see that it's applied that as well. Now, how do we develop? Because if I press D for develop, we can see that it says video is not supported in develop. Well, that's okay, because I have done a capture frame from the video, so this is my capture frame. So what I can do here is I can go into my tone curve, so brighten, brighten it there a little bit with the tone curve. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change a few colors as well, so increase the reds. And by pulling down, I'm gonna get more cyan in the shadows. Green. So let's just increase the green overall for the greenery and blue. So I'm going to have bluer shadows and then by pulling down on the curve, I'm going to kind of have warmer highlights. Now I'm just doing this as something exotic. So what I can now do is I can use uh, settings and copy settings. I'm going to check none and then check tone curve and process version. Click copy. We now go back to our original video. Oh, and I need to go back out of here. So I press E to go to loop view. And I go uh, photo, develop settings, and paste settings. 
I normally use the shortcuts which are shift command C, shift command V or shift control C and shift control V if you're on PC. So we can see it's now pasted in the tone curve that we had there. So that is how you can grade your video inside Lightroom. So that can be done. So that's a look at the basic settings and the basic controls that you have over video in Lightroom. Now you can use videos as part of slideshow, but I will talk about that when we're talking about slideshows themselves. Hi folks, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. If you, you, know, if you want to subscribe, please do subscribe. Uh, share the video if you found it useful. And of course, if you want to get notifications, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.